wonder if you made the right choices last time. Let's see what you'll do today. Can I think? Welcome to Detroit. I... Wait. I... I detect something unusual. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought there was a problem. But everything's fine now. Chloe's not having a great day here. Must be those inner Detroit farmlands we read about earlier. Hopefully there aren't creepy android zombies in the, in the basement of this place too. Okay, so Luther is the one that told us to check here, so I do have some concerns. Hey, people. Or person. Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Thank you, Rose, for being so nice and hospitable and not like this guy. What? What you gonna say? What? You think we can trust him? Yeah, sure. You don't have a choice. It's not like we're flush with options right now. I figure that we walk to Canada. running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? I, mean, I guess if he's like protecting his mom or whatever, it's not quite so reprehensible, but... If this place really is some sort of halfway house or safe house for androids, you'd figure he'd be used to this by now. Though granted, I didn't have Alice with me when I walked up to him the first time. Maybe he thought I was by myself and just looking for a free ride or something. I have no idea. I don't have enough information yet so I can guess his motives. Uh, yeah. Put Alice to bed. Stop because of me. You've got to get across the border. Don't worry, Alice. These people are going to help us. Get some rest, and this time tomorrow, we'll be in Canada. I promise. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Okay, yeah, it's all but guaranteed that uh, Alice here is an android. Humans. Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. 
I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother suggesting food to somebody who ostensibly at this point does not require, you know, food and sustenance in general. Get some sleep. Tomorrow. Stay with her a while. All right, Luther, you're growing on me here. Out of curiosity, is there anything else? Ticks? Nope, we're good. Son Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. Omitting some details there, but basically the story. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often being oh, boy. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. This is the Underground Railroad. It's just very emphatically the Underground Railroad. We've heard you help androids cross the border. <coughs> Excuse me. The only ways are with the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. I like how the only two options there are, no, we do this now. Because, I mean, you guys are under a time crunch. Please. Look, like the police are going to come looking for you here. You've got to help us. <clears throat> Rose, come quickly. Oh, was I immediately wrong? What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. Oh, there's more there's more androids here than just me and Alice and Luther. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Doing? You 
should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. This is a very poignant moment, ruined by my own commentary. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Carol? It's been a rough couple days, Luther. And for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! I feel like maybe this isn't, this isn't a good time for me to buy another conversation. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks! That is enough, Adam! That's enough! We don't want to talk to Adam, that's for damn sure. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. There, Kathy, what is on TV right now? uniform. You know what happened back there, don't you? <coughs> I thought we didn't keep secrets from each other. Alice, I barely love you now. You know that's not true. <laughs> Man, that's dark. The police. Really? It's the police. What are we going to do? Uh, they know we're here. We have to open the door. Okay, that's one. Uh, I meant the deviants. You guys. Hurry, no, take Alice and hide upstairs. Come on, Alice. And the third one's over here. Where do you 
seconds. It's two left, hide androids. One left, where would it be? Is it you? Do you want to get us all arrested? Do you want to see your mother in prison? Then do what I say. Okay. What else is there? I don't honestly know. What is the third piece of evidence? Thankfully I've got time I can like pause I can stop the world here and just wait. But what was the third piece of evidence? It's not the mag oh the clothes here. Nope, those are human clothes. Um Somewhere in the kitchen. Go for the door. Five, four, three. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of course. That's a uh, be tense. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Move the controller sideways while I turn. That was weird. Again, I think I have to be pointing it at the at the console the whole time. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. Yep, you can't see shit. everything. Thanks. Just out of curiosity, is there anything I should be doing? Uh-oh. There's no evidence of deviance. I missed something. What did I miss? Get rid of the clothing. I shut the door to the other room. I shut that closet. That was the three. Yeah, it's pushing level at ten. Doing pretty well. Oh, shit. I thought there was no one else in the house. Uh, uh, I, I forgot there's, um... There's my daughter, upstairs. Fucking hell, Alice. You couldn't stay quiet for five goddamn minutes. Yeah, got rid of that clothing. Thank you. Pretty sure an android uniform would have been a big dead goddamn giveaway. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right? Adam? The, the androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. 
you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Where the hell is Rose during all this? Did she drive off? Is somebody else in the house? It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model and it seems to have a racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. What are you doing up there, guys? It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. You didn't have to pass that cop on the road there, did you, Rose? And that's the end of the Midnight Train chapter. Take a look at this. I guess there's different ways to get to the end here, so this chapter must be entirely optional if this if the opening is a 99%. Alright, uh, Luther and, Ka and Alice join Kara, enter the house. I guess there was somewhere else to go instead of entering the house. If we do if we if we distrust it, maybe we go somewhere else. Uh, inside the house, follow over the guest room. Draw the curtains, watch over hours. That make I guess if we do I guess if we didn't somehow have Luther with us. Uh, let Alice see Mary, that was about 50-50. Uh, Rose leaves to find help. We checked on Alice, we watched the news. Adam came back. <coughs> Cop shows up. Adam will panic every goddamn time, apparently. Okay, we hit the pouches. We hit the clothes, we shut the laundry room door, we told everyone to hide. We missed something, I don't know what the hell that was. I guess uh, telling them to hide upstairs must have uh, caused that noise earlier. Uh, we lied about Alice and the police were suspicious as a result because they made so much goddamn noise. We made him coffee, managed to keep Adam from opening his goddamn mouth. We fooled the police in, so he left. That was fairly straightforward. Welcome to Jericho. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Is that North? I can't tell. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. Didn't North have darker he hair earlier? Revolution and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills And blood. where the hell did she get the like an amazing new outfit? Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! Of course Marcus gets the final say. And now what are we going to do? Missed a great opportunity for the inception there of Orange Sire. Five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike simultaneously at 2 a.m. No violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. There's an old adage, nothing good ever happens after 2 a.m. I've been waiting a long time for this.
why are we hiding from the cops? We're not wanted specifically. It's okay, they're gone. It's not like our faces are on the news or anything. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Alright. Follow north, I guess is the way to go. Thank you for the run option. I would not have been able to do this by walking. The store's over here. It did, wasn't I here earlier? Nope, different store. Sorry. Could use some backup. Free. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Okay, neutralize the alarms. But ha oh, come on with all these tags. We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to do with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay. Now what's next? The surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Scaffolding. So to get to it. man things. I really should actually explain what the Action Man thing is for anybody who doesn't know. Action Man was a cartoon late 90s, early 2000s where there was a guy who was an extreme sports junkie or like an extreme sports athlete and his whole deal was that he was able to like mathematically calculate um, the best way to accomplish various objectives. Too late. There's gotta be a different path here. Nope, not yet. There we go. So I remember I was working a job at a, at EA Games like five, six years ago. Not actually for EA Games, I was a subcontracted tester. But we were all talking about favorite superheroes and I brought Action Man and some dude literally just looked at me and goes, your favorite superhero is Action Man? His superpower is knowing what to do. I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. We'll but it's almost like, it's similar to um, there was an episode of Fringe about this dude who could do the math so so accurately that he could actually um, like sort of like a Rube Goldberg machine where he puts a pan on top of a mailbox and then you get hit by a bus. Can I deviant through the window? Okay, this is a waste of time, man. I got like ten minutes. And of those 10 minutes, I have how many left? Oh, nine and a half. That's not terrible. Wait, why? No, stop looking at things that aren't important to the mission. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. God damn it. Stop being so introspective, you asshole. What if he really likes shoveling the snow? You don't know. Okay, more tabs over here. Oh, hey. Okay. 
ostensibly any android who isn't free and is still in the area is gonna report on us later, so we have to make sure we take care of that early. Exactly what we need to ram this door. Oh, more androids. We should get back to that store window and analyze it just so I know how to like circumvent the security. the area. We can still open that door and in a minute to get to that truck. In the meantime, oh, area secure. We still gotta scan the window. You see the alarm system? Yeah, I can stick up to each one of these guys, but what I'm looking for is an alarm system, you assholes. Oh, bingo. Found it. Okay, this is ridiculously advanced. Access located. Let's get down there, make two more friends, and cut some power. Still kind of weird about this assimilation plot. I'm basically the, the using it as a good guy tool. Touch this. There's probably enough raw juice to take out half a city block. And yet, somehow it's okay, because I'm Marcus. Robot Jesus. Okay, only thing left is the truck. Nice job, Marcus. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. My only concern is that I'm doing this too quickly. It might be too early. Just out of curiosity, are there any other yellow tag? Nope, just that one. What are we waiting for? you make an android that has the ability to just hack whatever. I wonder what you do without me. We still on a timer? Yep, seven and a half minutes. Oh 
hopefully with the alarm system off, we're not going to be facing any police opposition when we get there. Because otherwise, this is about to be a very frantic situation. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Andy, what is your problem? You are all about mayhem. <laughs> 